It's another fitness Friday. And today we are heading to Maui to do some yoga with some really cute friends. Here we have Wendy Hachi and Maluhia Karis to tell us more about Maui goat yoga. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing? Good morning. We're doing good. I'm from LA. I did not grow up with goats or chickens or any sort of farm animals, right? And when we moved to Maui about five years ago, um, I started falling in love with all the farm animals and my family from LA thought it was really funny. One day, one of my family members sent me a video of the original goat yoga. And I looked at it and I turned to my husband and said, oh my God, this is what I want to do. And he said, no problem. We got all this land. Let's do it. That's awesome. Now I've heard of goat yoga before, but I've never understood the reasoning why goats are incorporated in yoga. Why, why do you guys incorporate goats? Well, it makes it more fun. Um, it's a little bit of animal therapy. It adds lots of giggles, um, entertainment, and along with, you know, being outside in nature. And so it just kind of is a great combination. All right. So I can't, interview Maui Goat Yoga without doing some yoga and I even have my own goats with me because it is a goat <laughs> yoga. So I have my two goat yoga friends right over here. <laughs> oh my god that is awesome. <laughs> okay so they're gonna be roaming around while you teach me some yoga moves. Is that cool? Great let's do it. All right. <laughs> Inhale to drop the belly and chest. Stick out the tailbone, bring the chest to the shoulders and lift the chin straight to the sky with a nice closed mouth so that you okay. can stretch the throat. As you exhale, you're gonna press through the pocket and knees, lift the spine, curl it. Exhale, get all that stale air out of the diaphragm while you squeeze all of the muscles in the body, starting with the arms, pressing through the palms. I feel Don't do it here, okay? <laughs> with my goats around me too. Hard time. They might be inclined to jump, so mind your area, okay? Oh no, they jump too. They gotta be at least 60, 70 pounds. Yeah, your goats. <laughs> yeah, my goat lost some fur, but it's okay. We're still, we're still relaxed. Push-up position. So go ahead and extend both legs. We're gonna okay. kick back the heels. Really engage all the muscles in the body, starting from the legs, the glutes, the core, all the way to the chest, pressing down through the palms. We're just gonna lift the chest away from the mat for a few breaths here. Be nice and sturdy. Love it. Okay, we're gonna get ready for Chaturanga. So go ahead and shift the weight towards the fingertips. We're gonna come down onto the knees, plus the top of the feet on the mat. Drop the upper body all the way down. Go the mat. On each side of the chest, elbows drawn together behind you. Gage is down at the mat. We're gonna press through the tops of the feet into the mat. So nice and strong. Inhale to lift the chest using the back muscles for a few breaths. We'll sit right here, nice and lifted. All right, so feet. We're gonna take a look down, make sure our inner arches are aligned and hip width apart. Go ahead and grab your elbows, tuck the chin into the collarbone and allow the crown of the head to go all the way down towards the toes here. Love it. Bend the knees, shift the weight towards the heels. Fingers to chin, look up. Bring the arms over the head. Like we're sitting in a chair now, we're gonna press through the heels all the way to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Press through the heels, nice open palms through the fingers. Reach through the fingertips and exhale, hands to heart center and jelly mudra. Namaste. Okay, Mikey, that was it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. You did awesome, and I really love your goats. Thank you. I love my goats, too. They're so cute. <laughs> Wendy, I'm going to bring you back in, and I have to ask you, for all of our viewers on Maui, if they wanted to keep up with you guys and everything that you're doing, what is a website they can log on to or a social media account they can follow? Okay, they can go on to MauiGoatYoga.com. And we also have an Instagram site, which is also Mali Goat Yoga. Awesome. Molly here and Wendy, thank you so much. Namaste. And I will see you guys very soon in Maui. Thank you, Mikey. Yes. Bye, guys. Aloha. Bye. Aloha. <laughs>
We have reached all new highs on this show. We have set a new bar, that is for sure, with the goat yoga. Uh, you know, I love the concept. I was I was waiting. Uh, I'm pretty sure that our viewers know that I'm going to say something inappropriate. I was waiting for one of the goats to I'm go number two, or or either sniff a butt or something. I, I mean, I know they're not dogs, but I thought they were cute. But that was hilarious. I'm still crying. Like my face has got to be red. I'm I'm crying <laughs> I over know, here. I know. Thank you, Mikey. Thanks to the goat yoga too. <laughs>